If you only knew how much I enjoy making up quick on spot recipes. With all the ingredients I find either in fridge or pantry in a garage I found some purple potatoes. In the fridge I, <laughs> I found some purple um, cauliflower and if you remember a few days or weeks ago, I don't already remember, we pickled some cabbage with beetroot. It's not a red cabbage, it's simple regular cabbage but I added a few slices of beetroot and it made the cabbage nice and beautiful color and I truly enjoy making up colorful dishes that's like the best you can do to a dish and this is gonna be, you know what, warm and cold salad cabbage will be the cold part with some onions, red onions that I wet in cold water so it takes away the bitterness, the main strong taste of onions if you don't want to do that that's optional and um, what I want to do is slightly roast potato although it's fully cooked I cook the potato and I steam the, uh, the cauliflower but I want to give them that light char uh, texture that's only that's optional again if you don't like it leave it what I'm gonna do and also we need some green color to make the dish even more appetizing and colorful what I'm gonna do I'll slice the potatoes. I want you to see how nice and beautiful they look. And it's better for them to be cut in order to absorb all the um, spices and seasonings. And spices, only black pepper. Black pepper and oregano will be for the potato and cauliflower. And for the rest, I'll let you know. I'm gonna try to fit both potato and cauliflower in the same pan because you don't want to use two pans for one dish <laughs> although i already steamed and cooked them in separate dishes and i'll slide a uh, spice and season directly on the pot, pan on the pot yeah you if you're baking in a pot you can season in a pot oh they fit them perfectly all right you know what let me roast the onions as well that's even better i love roasted onions taste let's say better than fresh it's way too strong for me and to this i uh, i already salted cauliflower and a little bit um, to my potatoes but i feel like they're missing a bit of salt i have that strange feeling where is my salt <laughs> Okay, like salt, just like so. Vegetables love being seasoned, especially with salt and freshly ground pepper. They adore ground pepper. Mm -hmm. And of course, light texture of oregano. Potatoes love oregano. You know that. Oh, if cauliflower also likes oregano, you never know. Um, and also, allow me <laughs> to add just a bit of garlic powder to potatoes. You know how much they love it. And cauliflower loves as much garlic as potato. What else? I think this is it for now, but I want to spray it with light salt salt olive oil just like so in two to three minutes until you see that nice char they're ready quick stir mixy mix and into the oven I'll set for two minutes and I'll look I'm not gonna forget, I promise. And while that's roasting and not burning, hopefully, I'm gonna slice my cabbage and herbs. That's it. Everything will be um, ready within a few minutes. Easy peasy. And just a quick reminder, the 
cabbage is already pretty salty. Salty. If you like to wash off some of the salt, you can do it. But remember that this is gonna be mixed with other vegetables, so don't over salt your vegetables. Probably that's what I did. Probably, I don't know. To be on the safe side, I'm gonna rinse my cabbage. You never know, it's really salty. And don't forget to have something that's roasting here and it didn't burn yet. One moment. Store. Mom. I'm going to turn this off because it looks almost ready. I gave it four minutes because after two minutes I checked it looked, it looked still slightly pale, not ready. Now I'm going to add my cabbage to the bowl, salad bowl preferably. That's perfect. And I'm going to drizzle with a good amount of olive oil because I like it. And it has the garlic, black pepper, this has everything. You don't want too many spices to this. But some chili, okay, I'm coming. Some chili flakes, because I like it zest, uh, zesty. Yeah, I like it with lemon zest too, but in this case, just mm, a little spice should be perfect. Okay. Um, okay, they look amazing. Alright, I want to give this a quick stir, just like so, to incorporate the oil and chili flakes, or jalapeno pepper actually, not chili flakes, but you do need some heat to this salad. Alright, and as if you would imagine, the rest of ingredients will go over top. Mm -hmm. Let me add this and quick stir once in a while, gentle stir to incorporate them fully with each other. Just like so. Mm, smells so good. For some reason, I really want to drench them in olive oil. I think they miss this oil thing juiciness from oil. What's that? And a good amount of... I have parsley and cilantro. Uh, dill will work just as fine. What else would work? Uh, basil will be perfect to this salad. Any herb you actually prefer will be just perfect. This is a made up quick recipe, so everything works. But of course I'll write down full, complete, exact recipe in the description and it will be always on my blog at heavenet.com. You can find it easily. Oh, uh, also I have some jalapenos from my garden. I really want to use them because they're from my garden. Just thin slices of jalapeno. Completely optional. I know it's spicy, but it gives so much beauty to everything. I love spicy food. You know, I want to pour the uh, greens only on the sides because I want to do some nice photos. And then I'll mix everything together. Trust me, I'm going to mix it so well and I'm going to taste it so beautifully. Here and there, some jalapeno rings. Okay, excuse my herby hands. Okay, we'll see you after photo shoot. The best moment. I'm gonna give this a quick, nice, very careful. These are the remaining of our ingredients. Quick stir, quick mixy mix. 
and just so they can get to know each other even better and this kind of salad is even better when you let it set like i don't know a, f a few minutes at least so the vegetables can absorb the tanginess and saltiness from cabbage and let's see what happens okay i'll, go, I'll grab some potato with cabbage And we look. Mm. Mm. Absolutely delicious. So satisfying. So flavorful. Mm. And the tanginess from uh, cabbage. Um, crispiness from cabbage and softness of other vegetables combines together so perfectly. And the heat from my jalapeno. It's just the cherry on top. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe when you try it. And I'm sure you will give it a try because this looks absolutely delicious and it matches with my dress so perfectly. I didn't accept this, expected this, I didn't plan this. But see, it happened. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Good. Thank you. You made this? No.